Dream has just responded to all the hate he's been getting. Let's get right into it. He tweeted this out. People in my replies joke say all MC YouTubers are pedos, meme, and even reply to kids and joke that they're all getting groomed. I posted about a shirt that was sent to me. It said, I like minors, with pickaxes to point out how funny these jokes are in a lighthearted way. I got a singular DM from someone in my comm saying it could upset victims to make light of that, even if the shirt said minors, and I said I deleted it before it even had 100 likes and apologized directly to them and said I didn't think of that point of view within minutes. Now the same people that are making jokes or supporting big accounts make jokes before are up in arms that I would do something terrible. Where's your deletions? Apologies, not to me, to the kids you've traumatized, to the victims you've triggered intentionally or not. I can within minutes recognize that accidentally taking part in the same disrespect that has been aimed at for a year is not compassionate, not fair, and apologize and rectify it before almost anyone sees it. You can't when your hypocrisy is staring you right in the face. This isn't to say, guys, it was hilarious. I haven't deleted it for a reason. Can say it in so many words. I'm not a pedo. I haven't groomed anyone and my heart goes out to any victims that have had their real stories and trauma thrown in their faces for internet points. So that's already a lot. And yeah, he's been receiving a ton of hate. There's been a lot of people clowning Dream. I mean, you just read his, a lot of his replies on his tweets now, and he's just constantly just getting flamed by people and they're calling him all sorts of names and stuff. Okay, and it doesn't end there, guys. The amount of people spreading the intentional lie that I admitted to grooming someone is so sad. Hundreds of tweets spreading that complete lie for likes. It's so harmful to real victims. I did not groom anyone and I've never said otherwise. And yeah, look at this. Dream admitted to everything I genuinely hoped everyone. Yeah, and look, people are just saying he admitted. Um, I mean, obviously it's like really bad because like when you guys watch that clip a lot of you guys with my comments like dude dream is just so weird and stuff like that like i just can't get over that i can't even defend myself directly without getting collectively booed for sending harassment to an innocent small account this is real life stuff i think sending a lawsuit would be worse intentionally spreading out right lies is defamation is just horrible dislike me all you want think i'm a terrible person think i'm cringe even say you think i'm a pedo whatever but if so why do you have to misquote me lie exaggerate and slander if i'm all these things you say i am why is it so hard to be truthful but dream ends it off like this i've been harassed for almost a year due to false accusations right after my face reveal. This person said they'd be pressing charges and posting proof, but it could take days, then went silent for a year and never did either while I waited and waited. Someone then less than a week before the accusations was liking and replying to my tweets positively, deleted DMs and called people doubting her jealous that I didn't want them instead. Admitted they considered lying about their age to try and DM me for weeks before they This did. one false accusation turned Dream into Dream Talk to Kids. There's tons of accusations. Dream never denied it. Dream was exposed, fiddling kids and so much worse all due to past parasocialness that yes i can be blamed for i talk on stream about how i'm going to make a detailed video with logs screenshots and evidence and gave some bullet points and it got completely clipped out of context and spread somehow as a lie that i admitted everything then the moving of the goalpost started to say he may have not sexed anyone but grooming is just messaging someone underage and he admitted that she dm'd her. that she dm'd him and then digging into my life or my relationship history with only people older than me yeah you know he had some fans you know so showing him some love i mean i know this person wasn't but look at this there's this post right here guys that i gotta show you respond to this then and look it's just a thread of like all the scummy things streams done so you know they're saying that he supported trump um you know he opposed uh nfl players right to kneel okay so it's a lot of politics so far um considering his race history jokes saying he uh what's it called he made such as saying quackity smells like tacos and drugs let's hear it <laughs> Let's hear it. i can smell them it smells like tacos and drugs <laughs> I mean, yeah, that definitely could get taken the wrong way, but, you know, he's probably also just joking with his homie. Um, not just trying to brush that off, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, people have just been posing things like this, you know, just exposing Dream for everything that he's done. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, because, honestly, like, yeah, Dream is getting canceled right now. He's getting a lot of hate. I haven't seen this in a while. I'm excited to see the video that he drops, um, you know, for another big update, but, you know, seeing this response is huge because he was getting a lot of people, you know, accusing him of things that, you know, even I was like, okay, we can't confirm all of this yet fully. The video clip did look sus though i'm not gonna lie guys like it really did look really weird but i don't know you gotta wait for both sides of the story to come out and just fully like just hear everything out before you guys jump the gun but let me know how you feel about dream and his response to all of this do you think he had a good or bad one anyways if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you're new and like we say empire out.